People are expected to spend more than $7 billion on Halloween this year. Millions of us will be celebrating the fun this holiday. And we have lifestyle expert Justine Santaniello here to scare up some of her Halloween ideas. Hi guys, I'm Justine Santanello. Halloween is right around the corner, so I've partnered with some amazing companies to make sure that your holiday is a treat and not a trick. Did you know that according to the National Retail Federation, 157 million Americans plan to celebrate Halloween this season? So the question really is, where do you get that perfect costume? eBay is the best place to start your search because they have all of the most popular and hard to find costumes at a great value. Some of the top trending costumes on eBay for adults are Elsa from Frozen and Spider-Man, while those cute little minions are very popular for the kids. Even if your costume is DIY, they have all of the accessories that you need to complete your look, from wigs and masks to capes and wands and beyond. And we can't forget about our home decor and our entertaining. eBay has everything you need from spiderweb tablecloths to Halloween drinking jars, even spooky candles. You could go to ebay.com for all of your Halloween must-haves at an unbeatable value. Now, a big trend for Halloween is spending it with your pets. We put a lot of energy into our family's costumes, so we can't forget about our pets' costumes. PetSmart can help to complete your family's look with a variety of pet costumes and accessories for dogs, cats, fish, even small pets like guinea pigs. And PetSmart, they want to see how you and your pets are celebrating Halloween, so be sure to submit your photos to their Monster Cute contest at monstercute. Dot petsmart.com and don't forget they also have festive dog bowls and aquarium ornaments for the home they even have dog safe candy corn treats and toys for them to enjoy for more information go to in the news.tv happy halloween Thousands of low-income citizens are at risk of losing the subsidies that make health insurance affordable. The New York Times reports a new question that will be asked during this year's open enrollment. Here it is. Did your household file a 2014 tax return? Those who say no may no longer be eligible for assistance to pay their premiums. To clarify what's happening, we want to welcome in Newsmax health editor Nick Tate. Author of number one New York Times best-selling author of Obamacare Survival Guide. Nice of you to join us here again on Newsmax Now. Nick, why wouldn't people have filed a tax return anyway? Not everybody who not everybody who, who lives in the country has to file a tax return if your income limits are, are such. People of modest incomes do not have to file. The problem is, if you claimed a tax subsidy through to buy your health insurance and you did not file a, a tax file this year, you will be liable potentially for the full cost of your health insurance. Now, about 80 percent of the 17 million people who've enrolled for Obamacare health plans through the exchanges do get a subsidy. So we're tip, we're talking about lots of people who might get a bad surprise come January 1 if they didn't file taxes and they are expecting that money to come in. So what do they think is going to happen January 1st? Well, they'll get a notice from their insurer saying you, ha you are liable for this amount of money that the federal government has been paying. There's a secondary concern, and that is individuals who, who bought a plan last year and decide they want to just re-enroll so they don't go to the exchanges and pick a new plan are automatically re-enrolled in that new plan. Now, if they do that and they did not file a tax return in, in April, they will be liable for that higher amount, which could be hundreds or even thousands of dollars more than they're spending this year. And then to make matters worse, uh, there's a rumor going around that the Obamacare website uh, that previewed over the weekend is having a few glitches again? It's more than a rumor. In fact, the White House is acknowledging that they, uh, the website still is not ready for prime time. Um, while it is scheduled to open November 1st, the White House says that some of the key features, like the ability to pick a doctor and identify whether your doctor is on your health plan, will not be functional, at least at the get-go. Don't know how many weeks or months it'll take for them to fix it, but once again, we're looking at potential problems with the new sign-up. Well, Nick, since you're kind of an expert on Obamacare, if you were going to advise people or give them advice on anything when it comes to Obamacare right now, what would it be? Take your time. You don't have to sign up right away. Review your options and make sure that you're looking at not only the premium, but the deductible, the co-pays, and other charges. It's not just a premium number you want to look at. So pick the best quality plan you have considering all these other factors in insurance, co-pay, co-insurance, premiums, as well as deductibles. All right, Newsmax Health Editor Nick Tate, thanks so much for joining us. 
Always a pleasure to have you. My pleasure. And don't forget to pick up your copy of Nick's number one New York Times bestselling Obamacare Survival Guide. And there's still time to weigh in. We want to hear your opinions. Send us a tweet at Newsmax now or leave a comment on our parent website. That's Newsmax.com. And we'll have much more coming up here on Newsmax now after the break. Stay tuned.